Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWorp.com and welcome to our review of the Belkin N900DB wireless router. This is a dual band router, it's a dual band N router and what that means is you have two uh, channels uh, that you can set up for your router and one specifically geared towards streaming media. So if you have a home server set up and you want to stream content across your home, this is a great router uh, to pick up. It's got this nice black uh, top casing. You can see the sides there. Look at the back. A picture of the device. It's, you know, it says it has a 600 megahertz processor. It's got the IntelliStream, which automatically prioritizes video and gaming. So if you're a gamer, you definitely want to you know pick this up. Uh, widespread routing, uh, two USB 2.0 ports, and so on and so forth. So instead of reading all that, let's just open this up and see what we have in here. So, very nice clean packaging. Um, we've got our setup guide here. And uh, let's pull that out. What else do we have in here? It's a CD, of course. Uh, and also there's a um, little pamphlet where you can store your security passwords and passcodes. I'm gonna change that so it really doesn't matter. But um, you can set that up. It's also a nice quick guide here that shows you how to set it up and what you need to do. So, set this aside. Pull this open. And what do we have here? So, it's all numbered. So this is it says this is uh, two four. I guess this would be one and one around here. So we'll pull this up. First off, this is our Belkin um, and nine hundred router. Everything is basically connected in the box for you, which is very nice. So if you if this is your first time buying a router, they pretty much told you what steps you need to take. So we're gonna pull this out. Set it aside, there's nothing else in the box. We've got nothing here, nothing there. It just shows you what you need to do, where you need to plug it. And here is our Belkin router. So it comes with an ethernet cable from Belkin. So which means the yellow cable, this goes straight to your cable modem. Um, these are high performance uh, Belkin cables. You also have one, two, three, four ethernet gigabyte ports. So if you do have a uh, gigabyte set system, this is worth it. This is also uh, two USB ports. You've got your reset button there, the red one, and of course your AC adapter. So you have to plug this in to your uh, modem and then plug it to the wall. The router, it's, I mean the, the uh, wireless router itself here is already on the stand. So you can just set it up like that and put it on the stand and you're good to go. And take this off, this off there. So you guys can take a be better look at it, but very easy. So the setup is very easy and it's very simple. And then you run the software and you definitely run the device itself. Um, what I'm gonna do with, with this review is I'm gonna set it up. Um, my house has a, uh, it's about three levels so it can be complicated with having routers and see what the range is and uh, the network we're gonna call it uh, Thunder you know so we know what we're looking at and we'll see what kind of speeds we get um, with our home network and see how effective it is and I'll tell you how it is with um, you know video and gaming and all that fun stuff so let's uh, definitely check it out All right, so we are going to set up our Belkin router. We have everything connected. Same way you set up any router, uh, just follow the instructions you have with your guidebook. Uh, you can get connected. Get connected is a set, set up uh, approach. We've already done that. It's something um, we flew through. So let's go to advanced tools. Now, advanced tools allows you to basically set up your uh, password, if you will, for your um, for your router. So this is the as we all know this is the Belkin N900 DB it's a dual band router DB stands for dual band rare and so you have two bands one is 2.4 gigahertz the other is 5 gigahertz 2.4 is just a regular 5 gigahertz it's to allow you to stream video better on that bandwidth you also can set up a guest um, a guest account uh, so a guest uh, wireless network so your guest can actually log in with a wireless uh, password so let's go in here so if you go to advanced tools you have the options to net network name security so basically personalize that or you can actually go here and change your login provider settings and things like that without if you're moving to a different apartment you also have to 
things of managing your MAC address, access point, firewall settings, manage virtual service, control access, uh, DDNS, guest access, and, and more. So let's go in here, click on that here. So that brings it up on the router. So I'm going to maximize this up here. And you can see on the left hand side, you have different options for LAN settings. You have uh, your internet WAN settings there, you have your wireless settings, media features for uh, streaming, video mover, firewall settings, and so on and so forth. So um, and in your wireless settings you can see you can change your channel SSD make adjustments to your wireless channel security options your Wi-Fi protected WPS uh, it's the simple touch method so you can actually link devices that way and your guest access how to uh, set that up so if we go here to channel SSD it shows you our channel shows you our SSD name these are the names that come pre-built with your router so it's Belkin uh, the B3C is your 2.4 gigahertz. Your Belkin B3C 5 gigahertz is your 5 gigahertz channel. Shows you the wireless mode, the bandwidth, and all the other options uh, below. Uh, suggest don't touch this. Leave it as it is, which is pretty fine, and it's okay. And what you want to do is go into security. In your security mode, you have the options to make changes in security, and you can change your password. And uh, and uh, make changes to that options there so you can actually change your security key things like that and it's very easy to actually do that you just basically type in whatever uh, password key you want hit accept and you're good to go and that's uh, pretty much it there you can also go back you can just head back in I'll show you how to just quickly set up your get a guest access where you click on that you can enable guest access or you can disable it, it you can change the SSID name and change the password so it's a very simple approach with the Belkin router and uh, very straightforward so if you guys have any questions any comments let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter Facebook YouTube it's border work with uh, two O's so this is Thunder saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment <laughs>